you get back to basics this time of year, like pad level, accentuate, all that stuff? Is that pretty standard? Yeah, a lot of fundamentals and techniques. Um, yeah, and we're able to work, not just uh, the guys have been playing all year, but the younger guys get get work with them a lot more, show them a lot more um, video, what they're doing well, what they need to get better at. And, but yeah, fundamentals and technique, sure. How much game planning are you guys doing this week, or what's the goal yeah, for you guys? Exactly. Yeah, so it's, um, it's like a lot of game plan and stuff. Um, we, we mixed in a little bit with the young guys, and then it's you know, getting ready for Alabama. Auburn managed to hold Alabama to 10 points from looking at the film. LSU. LSU, sorry. Yep. Um, but from looking at the film of that game, and then what did you see that they accomplished well on defense, and what do you think your defense can take from that? <clears throat> they um, did a good job of um, not giving up big plays. And when they, when they did give up big plays, they did a great job in the red zone. And um, yeah, they tackled well. And, just executed their game plan, and um, yeah, that's what it's going to take. You got to play with great leverage, um, keep the ball in the shoot, and do a great job tackling. And if they do hit plays on us, we got to we got to do a great job in the red zone and uh, make them earn it. Coach, how far do you go back with Alabama, given that they're playing differently with Hurts than maybe they did, you know, in previous years with some other guys? Yeah, we just. All we got is what Hurts has done this year, so we just look at you know what they've done the last you know five six games. He's their second leading runner. Does he remind you anybody any other quarterback you faced this year? Um, yeah, he's similar to the guy at Arizona, similar to the, the guy at um, Arizona State. You know, you know, he's a he's a dual threat quarterback, but, uh, so obviously really athletic, and um, but he also can throw the football. So yeah. Big time challenge. Taylor Rapp came in early, obviously, got here in the spring. How surprising or how unexpected is his emergence and how well um, he played at the Dallas stretch? So, coming out of spring, it's um, not as big of a surprise just because of how he handled spring and you can see his, just his toughness and how smart he was and how natural he was in space at tackling. And then um, early on, uh, you know, being a freshman, a lot of stuff, everything's faster, a lot, a lot of things he's got to do uh, between the years. And as the season's gone on, he's just continually gotten better, like a lot of our guys. And, um, and that's that's what it's all about. And he's, he's done an uh, outstanding job. Um, and, um, yeah, big thing for, for that guy. At a certain point this season, is there, have you noticed a change in how teams attack you just because of how many balls you guys have intercepted, you know, how many turnovers you've created? Have people gotten tentative against you at all? No, uh, I wouldn't say it. No, not at all. I mean, offenses are going to do what they do, uh, and they're going to try and attack what they think you know, we don't do as well. And so, um, no, I don't think that. I mean, most offenses that come in, you know, you see what they're going to do, and most offenses are, feel confident in their ability to do that. And they're going to they're do what they've been doing, so yeah, I, don't, I don't feel that way. Coming into 